If you had the choice to live on another planet, would you do it? The idea of humans setting foot on Mars is no longer a fragment of science fiction. Humans have made significant advancements in technology and space exploration, and the dream of establishing human civilization on Mars is now slowly but surely becoming a reality. Entities like NASA and SpaceX have brought out the lofty goals to develop a long-term civilization on Mars. In today's episode, we'll talk about the chances of people landing on Mars and the challenges that might arise along the way. NASA has released its initial architecture concept review, which is aimed to align its Moon-Mars mission strategy. The agency recently revealed its plan to create a space exploration roadmap incorporating multiple global stakeholders to identify exploration goals and acquire capabilities to achieve those goals. This strategy's ultimate goal is to continue Moon and Mars exploration. It wants to make sure that its space exploration operations are sustainable and have a long-term impact. NASA received over 5,000 recommendations, allowing the Space Authority to hone its pre-existing list of goals. The improved strategy remains tightly tied to NASA's Artemis mission, which aims to bring back humans to the moon. The new goals were divided into five categories, recurrent tenants, science, facilities, transportation and habitation, and administration. In an ideal world, NASA would try to increase our understanding of the topography of the moon and Mars, as well as space weather and the negative consequences of long-duration missions on organisms. In addition, the mission shall assess how the interplay of exploratory systems and the dark space environment affects human health and efficiency. These objectives are both vital and challenging as project planners strive to meet the goals of the mission while ensuring the safety of their personnel. Obviously, there is more to reaching Mars than merely loading colonists onto starships and hoping for their good luck. Two of the three missions to Mars have failed. This indicates that, despite its lofty goals, NASA's human Mars mission faces extra challenges in safely transporting humans to a greater distance and in a more perilous environment. There are a host of challenges NASA has to overcome. Even before the journey to Mars can begin, a craft must be created that can not only make the long journey but also perform its scientific research mission upon arrival. Here are the main issues scientists face when planning Mars exploration. The lengthy distance. The great distance between Earth and Mars poses numerous problems for Mars missions. The short launch windows for Mars missions are one of the most difficult obstacles. Every 26 months, scientists only have a few weeks to launch. Therefore, any delays in the mission could result in a large holdup in the mission's succession. Communication is another issue made worse by the long distance. Because of the great distance between the two planets, messages will require several minutes to get to the receptor, making it difficult for mission control and operators to provide quick assistance to the crew. Managing the weight NASA has successfully landed six spacecraft vehicles on Mars so far. All of these flights, however, were robotic missions which meant they used vehicles that were much lighter than those used for carrying astronauts. Creating systems for a manned voyage to Mars will involve an accurate compromise between decreasing weight and determining how to consume the least amount of fuel. The more fuel necessary to put a spacecraft into orbit, the heavier it is. Furthermore, the spacecraft's weight becomes a big obstacle throughout the landing procedure. As a result, engineers must create lightweight yet sturdy landing mechanisms that can resist the extreme landing conditions on Mars. Budget and Technology Constraints NASA has been suffering funding cuts that will have an influence on several initiatives, including those dealing with the creation of long-distance spacecraft. There is an assumption that NASA cannot afford to do it alone and will seek international collaborations and assistance. Going to Mars is an uphill battle. The potential risks are equally significant. However, NASA is convinced that it can overcome these challenges and is committed to unlocking bigger milestones in space exploration. Many space agencies are interested in Mars because evidence suggests it was once a habitable planet. Here are some of the technologies NASA is developing to make their Mars dream a reality. Better Propulsion System Astronauts heading to Mars will have to travel approximately 140 million miles into outer space, which is why scientists are investigating innovative new technologies that could allow humanity to cross the solar system in considerably less time. It is too early to say which propulsion technology will transport men to Mars, but NASA has stated that it must be nuclear-capable in order to minimize trip time. The authorities are exploring a variety of options, including nuclear electric and nuclear thermal engines. Improved Spacesuits Spacesuits are essentially astronaut-specific spaceships. One of the suits, dubbed the OCSS, will be used during the Orion spacecraft's launch and re-entry. The other, known as XEMU, will be put on during the Moon and possibly Mars missions. According to NASA, the XEMU is intended to outperform spacesuits used throughout the Apollo period. 
The XEMU will provide more movement, particularly in the shoulders. The new suit will also be able to accommodate a wide range of astronaut sizes. This could help NASA avoid another instance of a humiliating episode in March when the space agency had to postpone the first all-female mission at the last minute due to a lack of suitable suits. Laser Communication Lasers become viable for satellite communications thanks to a NASA collaboration. A laser telecommunication system on Mars could transmit massive amounts of real-time news and data, including high-definition photographs as well as video streams. The technology additionally enables us to see and hear more of the activities on Mars. Space is by far the best application for the innovative device because there is no atmosphere or objects to obstruct the beam's course. In 2013, NASA demonstrated the potential of laser communications from the moon. The agency's next demonstration will run through several operational situations, polish the pointing system, and address technical issues. If you watched recent news, you probably know that NASA is not the only one obsessed with Mars. Elon Musk, the eccentric genius and millionaire, has also entered the race with his own space enterprise, SpaceX. Although its space vehicle has not yet launched, his company is already working out its plan to colonize Mars in the future. In April, SpaceX came up with a five-minute animated publicity video depicting a wide shot of their Boca Chica starbase and how the company aims to put humans on Mars with a starship. If Starship is successful, Elon Musk believes it will be the main vehicle that takes mankind kind to the moon and Mars. The video opens with Starship firing its engines, creating a massive cloud of combustion that covers the rocket's base as it proceeds to take off. The video then flips to an overhead image of Starship on its route to orbit, followed by the rocket's first stage separating from the second stage. The second stage rocket is what provides power for the mission to Mars. However, because we know the journey will be long, the rocket will need to be refueled at some point. To take care of the issue, SpaceX deploys a floating tanker in low Earth orbit as a stopping point for Starship on its mission. We finally get a glimpse of Mars's distinctive cratered surface as Starship approaches, more than halfway through the video. Viewers may see what appears to be a human colony there, implying that the video does not portray the first visit to Mars. While the video does not specify when Elon expects Mars to be colonized, his prediction appears to be conditioned on the achievement of SpaceX's forthcoming line of rockets. While SpaceX has already completed a high-altitude flight experiment for Starship, the rocket has exploded in many of its previous tests. Perhaps the main challenge for SpaceX is figuring out a system for supplying essentials like air, water, and whatever else is needed by a human being to survive on Mars's barren surface. All of this will be difficult, but Musk has stated that the totally reusable craft will be ready for making multiple flights from Earth to Mars. Furthermore, it's difficult to estimate how much SpaceX has already spent on Starship and just how much more it will cost to realize Elon's ambitions. He predicted in 2018 that total development expenses will not surpass $10 billion. NASA, for its part, believes that Starship might reach the moon by 2025. Rockets today are significantly more powerful, effective, and reliable than those utilized in the 1960s. And this is just one of the many reasons NASA and SpaceX are sure that we will be able to overcome obstacles on Mars missions, even if we are not quite there yet. Despite the fact that many plans are still quite speculative, mission planners intend to bridge the gap between theory and reality before the end of this century. Maybe then, humanity will be able to send humans to Mars on long-term exploration and ultimate settlement missions.